Yeah, cutting him and Waters made up a little bit of time. Here is the race leader. Simon Evans is going to hand over to Shane Van Gisbergen. And interestingly, Slade stays out, so he's going to try and bank a couple of goodies here. And one thing the Supercar boys are known for is uh, getting good entry and exit laps. But slow for Evans, he can't get it out of gear. Oh, that's going to cost them. That's going to be advantage Slade. Couldn't get it out of gear by the looks yeah, of it. That's costly. That's going to be probably a good five or six seconds. I'll tell you what, not a bad recovery. I'm still 18.2, guys, so on average it's actually still a fast stop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, five seconds down and what they did in race one. He struggled uh, getting that thing into neutral, Mark. And, he, and the more you rush it, the worse it gets. It actually like, sounded like they had to um, stall the thing in gear, from what I hear, and then select, uh, select neutral and start it all up again. But look, good recovery from Shane. Certainly didn't panic it and may doing what not, he meant to do. It may not cost them too much, Mark. Just they, they look to be actually on a similar time with the outlap to the 22 and the 32 car. So, but I think... Oh, oh the, no! The left-hand door! Now, he's going to have to give that thing a couple of big swerves to get that shut, or he's going to have to head back to pit lane. Well, one of the crew was in the left side trying to help get the car out of gear, and the door has not closed properly. Oh, this is drama for the previous race leader. He's going to have to slow it. He's better off to slow it up and give that thing a wiggle. Well, they could take their fuel stop too now. They could do that, uh, but they're going to have to do that door after the conclusion of the Evans' car is back in again, boys. All right, they can't touch the door until they do the fuel, so this may not hurt them too much. They cannot go around the other side of the car until it gets down on the ground. Van Gisbergen in. How is it going to cycle out? Right, there is uh, one of the crew going around, shutting that door. Hopefully it hasn't been damaged with it swinging around. No, they've got a drama. They can't get the door shut. No, he, he's taping it up. Can't get the door shut. It's uh, moved around on the hinges, flapping around on the race car. That is costly. That is costly for the Smeg team. Isn't that a familiar sight, looking at Shane Van Gisberg and looking at, at people like going, what on earth is going on? So that's definitely going to cost them the race lead. And that door's open again on the Smeg Holden and behind. They're going to have to pit again, you would think. Well, drama here for the race one winners. Richard Moore wasn't too far away from the best of the pit stops. It just looked a little bit slower than we saw, certainly, from the Murphy car. So Shane Van Gersbergen with a drama. The left-hand passenger's door. I did, I did see during the pit stop that they had a, a team member come through the other side of the car to help. So yeah, that, that, was, that, that was their downfall there, yeah, potentially. That, trying to get the car out of gear with the driver change, but uh, that is going to destroy their chances in race two. Here's the replay of the stop. So you see Evans trying to get it into the neutral. Yeah. Being very careful not, not, not to, I think he did stall it, didn't he? Ultimately. There's one of the crew in the left so, hand yeah, door. There, there's the crew member through there. Assisting getting it out of gear. There's a lesson for you to check your, uh, make sure your door is shut. Properly. Well, how things can change in an extra pit stop, an extra pit stop to get that door secured. And that is absolutely going to destroy their chances. Well, let's see. Championship what, leaders. Let's see what the Giz can do now. He's going to be an angry man. And we all like seeing Shane Bing Gisbergen when he's uh, on the charge. Right. 